So you're in real estate and the market has shifted and you're wondering, what are you going to do now to continue to achieve success at a high level? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. You know, it's 2022. And even if you were new in real estate, we were sort of like order takers. Calls were just coming in and people were just wanting to put offers in houses all over the place. It really wasn't hard. And now it's completely silent. Rates are going up, houses are sitting, and perhaps you're not even getting calls anymore. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna dive into right now. If we have not met yet, hi, I'm Heather Blatz, Florida real estate broker, coach, and investor. I've had the privilege of coaching hundreds of real estate agents as they venture into real estate and then get into real estate investing. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified as I post videos every single week. No matter where you are in the nation right now, you are experiencing a shift in the real estate market. As I said before, we were pretty much like order takers over the past year. Prices were rising, sellers were throwing their houses on the market, not really caring who listed them, and buyers were calling the first person that would answer their phone and putting in 10 to 15 offers without getting one accepted. So they were doing this day after day after day. It was actually pretty exhausting. And now it's a little silent. But good news, we're actually getting into a normal market. What I mean by this is real estate is about real relationships and you as a real estate agent are an advisor. We really weren't able to do that over this last year. So what are you gonna do with your time now? The number one thing that I suggest you focus on is changing your mindset. You know, when you talk to the different people in the industry, you're starting to hear, oh, what are we gonna do now? I only have one closing. I don't really have a lot of money. What are you guys doing? Oh, we might be in a recession. Some people even have a positive twist by saying, oh, we're gonna band together and get through this um, together. And I just don't really find that kind of conversation or even if that's what you're thinking in your head when you're speaking it out, all of those around you that are looking to you for real estate advice are hearing you as well. And so if you're speaking the words recession and saying things like, what are we gonna do now? They're not getting a very good vibe about buying real estate. And the reality is now is still a good time to buy real estate. So let's go ahead and shift our mindset into all of the positive things that real estate has to offer. It's a great investment. Whether you're paying yourself or you're paying rent, you're gonna be paying to live somewhere. So what people are frustrated about is that their monthly affordability fits in a different price range now. But here's the thing, there were a ton of buyers that stopped looking for houses when the market shifted. And there are buyers that weren't even looking for a house over the last couple of years. So they don't even know what they're comparing to. They just know where we're at today. So my suggestion is to not only think about these things, but start speaking them, start showing people the value of real estate, even at today's current rates. The next thing I would suggest is to get back to the basics. Learn about the price range of your real estate market today. So go in like you're a brand new agent and start studying your neighborhoods. Look at the trends. How long are things staying on the market? What's the price range offering you? And become an expert in today's market, not in comparison to what it was last year, but just look at it for today. The last thing, and I believe the most impactful, is to get back into networking. Like I said before, real estate is a relationship and advising business. You are an advisor and you're in relationships with people. So go ahead and join a networking committee or your chamber or even start a meetup group yourself. Now is the time to brand yourself as a local expert in your community and also express to them why real estate is so beneficial to them. These are really and truly exciting times. You get to brand yourself, build your business, become an expert, and you have the time to do it. If you got something out of this video, please hit the like button. And if you're curious about improving your real estate business, I'd love to talk with you. Please hit the like button. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> Thank you. Did I say that already? Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Just wanted to say it like that. Okay. Thank you. So <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Hi, I'm Heather. If, mm -mm, mm -mm, Heather. Mm -mm. Okay.